This episode of Never Too Small is brought to you by Omaze. For your chance to win an Airstream Caravelle and an all-new Ford F-150 in support of a great cause, go to omaze.com slash never too small. The apartment is located in a downtown neighborhood where tradition and innovation meet. The building is a residential building constructed in the late 19th century and completely refurbished in the 90s. My name is Caterina Pilar Palumbo and I'm an architect. I live and work in the apartment. I wanted a multifunctional space that is both a place to live and an architect office. When I first saw the apartment, the first room was a living area and a kitchen. There was a door to a narrow and gloomy corridor. Of this corridor, there were three more doors. I also wanted to increase the light coming into the apartment so I removed all the unnecessary doors and small walls and converted the storage room into a kitchen. I added the blue mezzanine and I created the subdivision between private and public areas. Since that the space is multifunctional, it's important to create fluidity between the different areas. Entering the apartment, you see the dining room, meeting room with a round table and transparent folding chairs around it. There are a lot of display shelves on the walls, full of materials and samples. Looking up, you see the bookcase and the sliding blue step ladder that is used to read the books in my library and also to access the mezzanine. The kitchen is small and minimal, but it's carefully designed. There are two cupboards with flap doors, a small fridge, some drawers and a range hood. The bench top is deeper than usual because there are three hidden storage boxes at the rear. The bathroom hasn't been relocated and its fundamental layout is unchanged. A sliding flexible stain conceals the storage area and also functions as a shower screen. The ceiling is fully illuminated and everyone who comes in for the first time asks if there is a skylight. It's actually a custom-made flexible panel with concealed LED illumination. There is the office and the living area with two cantilevered wooden desks where I work and a blue sofa for both working and relaxing. The sofa is a Japanese futon, so it can also become a bed for guests. I've designed a lot of cupboards on wheels that are used around the apartment for different functions. The one next to the sofa hides a projector, for example. The mezzanine intersects the two cubes, maximizing the space and dividing the private area above from the public area below. The handrail structure is designed as a frame to let the light come in. If you look out, you see the bookcase and the geometry of the 12 lights on the ceiling. Close to the wall, there are four white panels that slide open to reveal storage, the heater and the sleeping area. On the right, there is a wardrobe and on the left, a bed with a side table. A lamp is hung on the blue structure. To enlarge the space and give fluidity, I choose to restrict the palette of materials terrazzo floor, 
blue steel for the mezzanine, off-white tiles with small blue dots, and white panels for storage. Bergamo is full of old buildings that we need to maintain and use. I like the possibility that come from using new materials in antiquated spaces. Giving them new life is the most sustainable way to design. Omaze offers people the chance to win dream come true experiences and prizes to empower not-for-profits to do more of their world-changing work. Support the Independence Fund today for your chance to win an Airstream Caravel and a 2021 Ford F-150 to tow it. The Airstream Caravel 20FB could be your tiny home away from home. It comfortably sleeps four and is complete with memory foam mattress, spacious kitchen, premium appliances and pet-friendly ultra-leather seating. Hitch to a brand new 2021 Ford F-150 Lariat Sport 4x4 will have you set for style, comfort and adventure. Enter for your chance to win and help the Independence Fund bridge the gap of unmet needs for veterans and their caregivers through their mobility, caregiver, adaptive sports, advocacy and family programs. So for your chance to win an Airstream Caravel and a 2021 Ford F-150 and support the Independence Fund, go to omaze.com slash never too small. Thanks for watching. To receive updates on our latest episodes, please subscribe and click the notification bell. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.